Hi guys, my name is Anastasia and you're on my channel, yeah, like, <laughs> like our next 11th episode of uh, my 600 LB live, yeah, and I uh, see on my monitor and I, mm, I think that this is our main hero, yeah, and uh, today we will know why she wanted to lose her weight, yeah, and how many excuses <laughs> she had. So guys, as usual, I will watch this video with you, speak my mind, uh, share my emotion, maybe even philosophize. <laughs> if you see my previous video, you will know about it. So, and um, guys, I apologize that every three seconds my screen will flash because YouTube does not skip this video at any different way and I try to fix it, but unfortunately it doesn't work at any different way. Sorry. But I hope for your support and understanding and don't forget about likes and comments. I all time <laughs> waiting for it. <laughs> so let's do it together. Let's start to watch. Nice watching and have fun. 36 years old, so she is so young. So young lady. so large lady I wake up every morning feeling intense pain it's constant now and there's no part of my body that doesn't hurt having crackling in my bones heat rash in places that never goes away no matter how clean I am I have stabbing pain in my feet and really dull, crushing pain in my lower back. It's not a fun time. Mm -hmm. My right knee is the worst pain I've ever had in my life. I struggle with diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and it's all because of my weight. My body is crushing itself. When I do get up, I move like a T-Rex because my steps some of them are big, but so slow. Mm -hmm. I'm so big. And I'm very short of breath almost immediately doing anything where I have to move. My lungs just are suffocating in this body. But I do get up. I try to keep up with my basic hygiene every day. I only shower once or twice a week. I use wet wipes to clean myself the other times to hide my smell. It's just hard, but I usually just stand for as little time as possible so I don't pass out from losing my breath. And I do have to have help now, especially with certain things. I have not been able to wipe myself in seven years. And sometimes that responsibility falls to my boyfriend. I do have a boyfriend. Not the most fun thing, I can say you, yeah, being uh, at this weight and have a normal life, it's impossible. And of course, uh, she said that uh, she haven't get as pleasant uh, as this food. Come on, it's, just, it's really impossible to have sex in such a state, in this weight, yeah, and she needs to immediately pull yourself together and change. And of course, lose this fucking weight. <laughs> I met him a month ago on a dating site, and since then, we've seen each other every single day. I was up front with him about my situation, so he understood what he's getting into. But I still feel bad about needing his help like I do. But we're really enjoying each other's company, and I feel very blessed to have met him. Oh. Come in! Hey, babe. Hey, honey. Lacey's that type of person that will give you your shirt off her back. That loving, caring, snuggle bear kind of person. So Lacey asked me to come to the bathroom, and sometimes I do help her wipe herself. It doesn't bother me because I love her a lot, mm -hmm. and I really like to keep Lacey happy. My greatest love in life is food. I absolutely How love How much food. oil? Make sure you put butter in the skillet for the bacon. That's fine. I consider myself a bad, bad food addict. Like it's a 
I leave. So I really understand that the most popular food in America is bacon, especially fried bacon. So guys, you know there is no cult of food, yeah, and abundance of food leads here in such a body and i also love to eat but first of all i must know about the measure because i really don't want to take part in this project later and all is easy normal food normal life yeah because without normal food you you haven't got a normal life oh it's like it's like a structure pump into my arm and as far as i'm concerned there's no greater pleasure in this world than eating food it's a more pleasure button for me than sex food mm -hmm. it's everything to me from yeah food is everything to me is that i haven't got a normal life that i have a lot of pain in my body that i haven't got any sex with my husband yeah it's three reasons why three reasons why food is really the best part in her life and now food destroys completely all her life Perfect. Even my earliest memories, that's how it's always been for me. Growing up in my family was emotionally and physically exhausting. I had mm -hmm. an older sister and brother. Mm -hmm. My brother was the favorite child. My sister, so skinny and popular. I kind of felt like I should have been adopted. <laughs> My dad had some anger issues. And I didn't have much of a relationship with him. But mm -hmm. I had a worse relationship with my mom. Mm -hmm. Because I never felt like she wanted me. Lacey was our surprise baby. I had an IUD, but it got out of place. When I was writing Christmas cards, I'd get really emotional. That told me... Oh my gosh, I think I'm pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> when I was baby. very young, she told me that I was an IUD baby in an accident. It made me feel like a disaster. So my self-esteem was disgustingly low as a child. Therefore, I ate because it's what brought me comfort. So I started gaining weight from the very beginning. By the time I was six or seven, I was around 120 pounds. When Lacey was growing up, sometimes we would try to limit her food. But she was headstrong and didn't go over very well. But my weight gain got even worse as I got older and really started to soar when I was 10 years old. That was when I needed something like food to help me escape. Hey, Ricky, can I have the butter? Yeah, baby. Please, I need a more extra butter. butter on my pancakes. Okay, babe. The summer before third grade, I began hanging out with a new kid on the block. And we were playing one day, and he wanted me to go to his house. And when I went over, his older brother lived in the basement, and I was dragged to the basement by my friend for his elder brother to have sex with me. It was a horrific experience. I didn't know. Oh my gosh, this is strong for full her life. Of course, I I can't imagine how it is, but but this is no a reason to get fat and forget about and forget about your life. She is really young woman, but she looks much older than her age. Oh, uh, mm, it's not about fun, yeah, unfortunately. Know what to do? I didn't think anyone would believe me. So I never told anyone about this and stay in, in college. Silence. So technically he got away with it. So after that, my weight spiraled out of control because I was just constantly eating. So that led me to over 200 pounds by the time I was 11. And of course, I got bullied a lot in school. I didn't really have friends. I had food and all I really wanted to do was eat. So my weight just kept going up all through high school. And when I graduated when I was 18, I was around 420 pounds. And right around when I started college, I started having bleeding problems and hormone problems with my menstrual cycle. And my mom took me to the doctor because I kept having issues and the doctors were trying to figure it out. They asked me some questions to answer honestly. So I had to tell them that I was raped in the third grade. And that's when my parents found out my dad believed me, but my mom never did. 
So that became a roadblock in our relationship that I don't think we'll ever recover from. Right after. So in general, her mom didn't give her any love in her childhood. She didn't believe uh, her, yeah, and uh, she felt as possible uh, as. Um, as lonely as possible so it's it's like a dream yeah, you know it's such a bad story and i can't imagine how much pain she felt but uh, it's not the reason so get fat yeah and have the body in such a state that is that uh, that i said repeat that i repeat it's not a normal life it's uh it's some extent that i moved out of my parents house and into the dorms at college being on my own allowed me to take binge eating to a whole new level. And I just ate my way through college. So by the time I was out of college, I was over 500 pounds. I started working a customer service job to take care of myself, but it was too much for me and my body. Here's two, babe. I'll make you two more. Thanks. I think a little bit of it was being judged by others and judged at school. She had a nervous breakdown. Tastes really good, honey. Thank you, baby. So after that, I just stayed home all the time, and I got extremely lonely. But when I was 26, I found a group of people on the internet who are part of what's called feederism. Feederism is when, on the internet, girls make money from getting men to give them money for food and them eating it on the camera. It wasn't hard for me to find men on the internet who wanted to take care of me. And all I had to do was film myself eating as part of the deal. And I liked the attention, to be honest. Technically, I've been... Attention or money? Oh my gosh, what's, what's the bullshit? I have uh, heard about a lot of programs like Twitch and LeFans, but uh, a program where you need to eat and uh, give some attention from men. What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, uh, do you hear about this program? I is she real? <laughs> so I need Google something. In three feet of relationships with men, but I haven't done that in a long time. Thankfully, I have Ricky now, who's not like those other guys, because he wants the best for me. So we're together now, and I'm thankful to have him. Not just to have somebody to help me, but because I know he loves me. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm just uh, chatting with my sister. The girls say hi. Hi, girls. It's the first time I feel loved, as with a boy, really. And that's motivating me even more now to get healthy because I want to have a better life and do things with them. But food is still so important to me. But food on the first step, of course. So she uh, food destroys her life completely. She haven't got any sex with her husband. She has a lot of pain in her body, but I want to change. Of course I want to change, but please, first of all, uh, more oil and butter. A lot of excuses, yeah, but zero action. So how do I give up what makes me happy? Mm -hmm. I'll get the door, babe. I don't know if it's going to go through that. Move the couch. Can you move the couch, please? I can't get through. I'm too big. You know, if Ricky's going grocery shopping, I'll push myself through the pain so I can just be around all that food. You know, neither of us drive, but thankfully now we have Ricky's sister, Sharon. Mm -hmm. She comes and takes us, and that's been a godsend to me. Hi, Sharon. What's up with you? No, babe. I can't, it's hard for my shoulder. Hey, one second, one second. Oh, I can't reach it yet. My knee. Okay, I'm in. Thank you.
Get like three packages of bacon. All right, three packages of bacon. Here's some chocolate fudge cake. That'd be good. Every bite I'm taking is helping to kill me now. There's ice cream. You know how much I like ice cream. Which one? How about cookies and cream? And Ooh, more, girl. and more. And I can feel it in my body now. <sighs> okay. That one? Yeah, that's good for me. Okay. I've had pain in my body so many times, but not like it is now. It's different now. I gotta sit down again, sorry. Take your time, babe, take your time. <sighs> because the pain is worse, <clears throat> and I've started to feel like I'm dying. Just a minute, I gotta breathe. Especially in my heart and lungs, because my lungs are weak, and my... So the body can, so long, um cope with so much fat in her body that lungs and heart already hurt. This is a reason to stop and doesn't continue to gain all the junky food. Why she needs a lot of ice creams and bacon? Come on, girl, you're so young, pretty lady. Just, just change your life and all. Stop our eating. And now it's not a joke. It's it's so dangerous for her health. I I, I just realized what to uh, say doctor now to her. I'm waiting for this moment, really. My heart's weak. And it's just getting worse. But she continues. I do think Lacey has a weight problem, but it doesn't bother me. I'm mm -hmm. used to it, I guess, because I grew up with my own weight problems. It just means we both could lose weight because I'm not myself skinny yes you too 20 hundred dollar 200 dollars for junky food for this money you can buy a lot of healthier food really and your feelings will be better than now okay slow down i know i'm not too far from something really bad happening to me and i'm scared about what could happen now this is enough Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, baby. Okay, slow down. No. Three, one, two. No, no. Let me do it. <laughs> okay. Ow. Can I do it? Yeah. Okay. The more I eat, the worse it gets. I pray I'm not already past a point of no return. I have simple dreams. I just want to go to the mall and be able to walk around and shop. That's it. Yeah. Is it stop to eat and your simple um, desire will be in the real life, really? Of course, you want to have a normal life, but you haven't got anything to, to be in normal life. Overeaten, and now her obesity is so dangerous for her health and, her, and for f her future. <sighs> Something shit. Slow, slow. Ow. I'm gonna puke. Don't That's puke on Don't puke on Please don't puke on my car. Come on, baby. Don't pull me. Slower. And now with Ricky in my life, I want to have a future with him. And when you're as overweight as I am, that kind of life just isn't possible. Instead, I'm just trapped in all this fat. It's my prison, and it's a nightmare most days. So whatever it takes, I have to try and get better and lose the weight. I just hope it's not too late. And of course, a lot of snakes. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, the first ones, finally! Cheesy puffs! Ah, yep, no soda, they will move to Houston! Coffee! Yep, yeah, oh, the coffees, yep, yep, babe. Root beer. Okay. Don't forget my chocolate. Definitely, babe, I won't forget chocolate. Chocolate, of I've course. I decided to try and go see Dr. Now in Houston to see if he can help me. It's not going to be easy. But thankfully, I have Ricky, who's going to help me do this. Hey, babe, do you need this? 
Yes. All right, all right. Lacey deserves the opportunity to change. I'm pretty... You know, guys, how important it is to have people around you that all time carry and support you at any time. And her husband, it's, it's, it's really her protection. And um, for him, she must change her life. He is so nice guy and he wants a better life for her girl. Hopefully she will get accepted into this program with Dr. Now because I just want her to definitely get the help she needs to take care of her body and get herself back on track. And so I'm 100% committed. I am going with her to take care of my girlfriend because she needs me. Of course, get because she's so helpless. That's all. It's over 2,000 miles and more than a full day's drive. Oh. So the plan is to try to split the travel up between today and tomorrow. So long way. That'll give me a little time to rest up some before I have my appointment. Because this whole thing is going to be extremely hard on my body. Sorry, I'm tired. Oh, I don't go in the, why don't you go sit in the car? And I'll yeah, get the rest I'll of go stuff. Get in the car. But neither of us can drive. So Ricky asked his sister Sharon to help drive us there. And she said she would. Hi, Sharon. What's up with you? I haven't seen you. Stay low, you know. I'm the driver. I got volunteered. Then mom was like, oh, no, Ricky's going to Texas. So is Sharon. Oh, I was like, I don't want to go to Texas. But like, hey, let's go make sure my brother Ricky is safe. You know, that's what I do. What do you help, babe? Can you move the stuff from the pouch and stuff? Because Ricky is actually epileptic and he has seizures. So I had to be there because he stops breathing. Sorry, he's just no, babe, space. Nope, nope, gotta make it comfortable. I want you comfortable, baby, comfortable. But also he's sheltered. He doesn't really know much. Get in the other side and pull me in? Yeah, babe. So with his girlfriends, I got to step in and put them through the ringer to see if they're going to actually be there for him or if they're just using him. No, no. Please. I'm not doing anything. Don't make me fall. Oh, I hold on. Give me a... Stop, please, stop. I, I'm, I'm just holding. I'll put your hand over here. No. So it can be seen that the sister has a really much stronger character than him. And she's tougher and uh, worries about her brother. Of course, uh, she knows him much better than uh, anyone. Yeah, and uh, maybe she probably knows that she can be. He can be very kind, of uh, and probably ready for everything for the sake uh, of his beloved. No, Howie, I can't do this. Finally. and get tacos or burgers or fries. <laughs> Getting kind of hungry. Yeah, that sounds good. Why not salad, for example? I'm exhausted and it's only been 30 minutes since we left. 30 minutes and she wants to eat something crunk. Lady, what is in your head? Why did she do it? Why does she continue to live for this stupid life? Oh. Stacy, that was okay, guys. We continue. <laughs> oh, babe, mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah, yeah you better oh. get the famous one. Yeah, I know, I like those. But we have so much distance to go. So I just need to get enough food to last for a bit. I'd like eight extra crispy drumsticks, a large corn dog, a large cheese curd. Pop a burger with extra, extra bacon, and I'll take a uh, root beer. Anything else? Mashed potatoes oh, and gravy. I need a, uh, an order of mashed potatoes and gravy, please. Thank you. So this is just scary, to be on the road so long. Part of me wants to turn back. 
but I can't because my life depends on this. Oh, second day. Uh-huh, they're staying in the hotel. I'm trying not to lose it. I'm sorry, baby. Take your time. It's our second day on the road. My legs hurt excruciating pain right now. Very swollen. They're bigger than they've been in a long time. The thought that we're not even halfway there is very hard on me, but got to keep going. There. Okay, baby. How's it? You good? Yeah. I'm gonna stop, babe. I'm doing the very best I can. I know we can get there. It's just gonna take a little while, and I gotta get there by my appointment, or else I lost out. I'm desperate for his help. So as hard as it is, I'm trying to push myself. But at least I was able to get a good breakfast before putting myself through all this again. Had a really nice breakfast, zebra cakes, and cheese puffs, and coffee. And... You need to work on losing weight, and you got to motivate yourself. Mm -hmm. And no one's going to hand you because nothing in this world's free, right, and people gonna, have other people have else. themselves to worry about before they worry about other people. It's gonna be hard, though. I'm gonna it's let gonna you know. Really hard. But you, as long as you stay that. So sister, his sister may is speaking harshly, but I completely agree with her. Yeah, she need to have responsibility on her life. No one will take and uh, lose uh, weight, her, uh, her gain weight uh, instead of her. No one will take and make your life better no one instead you only you oh only on her own responsibility on her life and it's now it's it's her choice to have a, the worst life ever because she doesn't want to change anything oh and her sister his sister is completely right about her dedicated to your and motivated on what you want to do you'll get it done yeah I give everybody the benefit of the doubt, but I'm a good people's person and I can read people like really easily. She's not showing any efforts to lose the weight. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she's not going to be able to do doctor now. We're going to do a shirt that says Team Lacey. Team Lacey. Team Lacey. Team Lacey. Team Lacey. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, what a day! What a, what a day. day! Beautiful day, actually. Hi, sis. Hi. Hey. Yep. I got it. I know. Make sure you yep. don't fall out. Let's go, girls. Get it going. Get in the truck. Let's sell it. It's our third day on the road, Houston. We were supposed to be there by now because my appointment was today. But we've only made it to Utah, so we had to ask Dr. Now if we can move the appointment, and he did that. But we're still 19 hours from Houston. So for today, we're gonna drive and drive as much as we can. I know that I'm not as hungry as I was yesterday, and so hopefully we not stop too much. We are 18 hours and 54 minutes from Houston, Texas. We are so far behind. We've been driving all day and we're still in Utah. Oh my god. Do you know the Pueblo Indians would make their homes inside the canyons? Yes, they would. And then one day they just disappeared. Mm. How the f do you guys know that you love each other and you only been dating for not even a full month? It's like, okay, I'm ex I don't know how to explain this. It's like I've known her for so long. You know, I have a connection with her and I, that I really don't know how to explain. I like that he's so outgoing. 
he's good with kids. And so now I understand why his sister behaves this way. So they have been in a relationship less than one month and they said about love. Also, in fact, um, they have been... Uh, in fact, they are... I think that uh, he just uh, feels sorry to her and helps. But saying about love... Mm -mm. Yeah, my he likes Dragon Ball Z and I like anime. And you all are telling each other y'all love each other? We do. You can't fully know what love is yet. When you have like the connection, it. Sharon, when you got the connection, that's the when connection. you know it's real. But you can have a love. Well, we're building our life. love every we're day. Every, 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 day every, every day we work on the Every day we have something to That, you know what, I'll give you that. But at the same time, I want you guys to be aware of the fact that Y'all don't really even know each other. I just want, and this is the honest truth, I want to spend the rest of my life with her. That's what I want. And you're my little brother, who is ignorant very sweet. and very gullible to a lot of So when I see something, I'm going to speak on it. I understand. I respect that. Thank you, Sharon, for hanging with us and helping. I really appreciate it. To be honest about love, it sounds really ridiculous. So they uh, have been in a relationship uh, less than one uh, month and uh, they just know about each other a little fact. Yeah, but, uh, but, but it's not completely a real life. It's like being in love, but real life... Ah, come on. I need to stop at a drug stop and get some things. Yeah, the next stop I gotta stop. Oh god. On the highway, like right here? Yeah, there's a gas station up there. Oh man, I'm getting sick. I have to go number two. Oh, shark. What in the f wrong with you? Oh, we're gonna get fast. And new pants. So. New pants! New pants. pants! Oh god, no! herself and she was just taking a fart you know like anybody does and well it wasn't a fart and I so I think she needs to get off the fast food for a little while I'm not a judgmental person I don't judge at first you know because I feel everybody has their own thing I think they like each other a lot you know I think they do like each other but it's not love. We all know it. It's not love. I think it's more like she needs somebody to take care of her, and my brother just automatically just jumps in and does it because that's what he does. Mm -hmm. Come in here, please. Okay. I threw up. Your body said, "Hey." Give me something healthy. Uh, I support sister words for 100%. Yeah, he just take care of her and exactly that is what she needs. And because inside his body she is so helpless and so weakness. She is, she is so weakness person. Oh my gosh. It's, uh, it's some obstacle for this guy. But he said it's this love. Hmm. We will watch. But I'll stay out of it. He'll learn. Everybody's got to learn sometime. Good. All is okay. Now all is okay. She's clean. We can continue to drive. It's like a hobby store. No, it's, it's, it's a food store. It's a food store. Here you go. You're here. Oh my god. We did it, yeah, here you go. know what's coming, baby. Come on. Thousands of miles to get here, but you're here. I am so nervous about seeing Doctor now. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Yeah, I'm excited. Now scream, happiness. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Finally. Okay, baby. Come on. Let's go. We finally made it to Houston last night. After five days on the road, coming down here is so incredibly hard. 
but I did it because I know how bad I need help. And Dr. Now is one of the only people that can do that for me. Finally, we made it. Miss Buckingham? Now that I'm here, Hi. I'm nervous about finding out my weight. This is going to be the first time Ricky's ever seen my weight. We're going to weigh you, and, okay? Okay. Can and you what go about on the scale now, please? Thank you. Step up. If I'm heavier than 600 pounds or so, that's going to be really upsetting. And? Oh, I don't know what to say. You can step down. That's about what I expected, but it's still hard to see that number. <laughs> but I'm glad I wasn't heavier than I thought. That's at least positive. And now I just hope I can get the help I need. Hello, Hello my favorite doing? doctor. Good. How are you? I'm doing well, too. Thank you for asking. So you must be Lacey. Yes. All right. So who is the young man that came with you? This is my boyfriend, Ricky. Mm. Oh, nice to meet you. So where do you come from? Southeastern Washington State. How long it took you to come from Washington to here? Five days. Five days to get here in one way and five yeah. days to go back. <laughs> yes. All right, so what seemed to be issue with your eating habit that you're not able to lose weight? Too much carbohydrates. That's not the problem. The problem is if you know you're eating too much carbohydrate, why are you doing something about it? Um, I kind of gave up on myself, I guess. Lazy okay. and... Okay, Lacey, you're 36 mm -hmm. years old. Yes. Well, at least it's good that she realized that she is lazy and she didn't want to change anything because it was it was just convenient to her. So if uh, she hasn't got any pain in her lungs and uh, hurt, she would continue to have this, this life. Yeah, it is very scary, guys. You know, it's really so scary. I understand that people want to change something in his or her life only when the body can't cope with this. So Such a nightmare. you have a goal in your life. Yes, I want to, well, I want to lose weight and have a happier lifestyle mm -hmm. and grow in my relationship with Ricky mm -hmm. and have a life instead of being at home. And Okay, uh, so you get the goal to have a productive life. Yes. Okay, so the question is, what are you going to do to get there? Anything. Then... Why haven't you already tried to do something if you want a productive life and to change things? I've tried, I guess. I don't know. I just... All right, look at it. What is she trying? Come on. Say true fact. She didn't do anything. She just ate and ate and all. <laughs> you, tried. you are taking almost about 30 medications yes. a day. And oh my you gosh. have uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, asthma, thyroid problem, and reflux, neuropathy, lymphedema, migraine, and the list goes on and, and on. on and on and on. So it's clear that your body is at a breaking point because of your weight. So you got a lot of health issue, and you need to take care of yourself, right? Yes. And you need to lose weight. Yes. All right. So, if I give you some instruction about the eating habit, do you think you can follow those? Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to give you some stuff I want you to read every night. Now, we'll break down at 1,200 calories a day, low-carb, high-protein diet that you need to follow completely. Okay. And understand to correct your eating habit. And I'm going to give you some exercises that you can do at home. And I want you to do those twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. So in two months, you need to lose 50 pounds. That won't be hard to do at all. 
Okay. But since you live so far, it'd take you five days to come here, five days to go back. That's a 10 day round trip. Yeah. That is a lot of strain in your body. So I don't want to make that trip again to come back down here. Before we know, you made it to that goal. So we get you to go to your doctor and check your weight in Washington. And so guys, what do you think? Will she lose this weight? Mm, I think, yeah. But, but I'm not sure. And if you made it to that goal, then the next step is you need to move down here to Houston if you want to do the program. Mm -hmm. But if you're not losing weight, then there is no point in you going through all that to come back since you won't be doing the program. Do you understand that? Yes. So this is going to be all up to you. You understand that, right? Yes, I understand. Okay. All right, so I'm going to bring you some stuff. I'm going to explain to you what to do and see if we can get you going in the right direction. All right, I'll bring it to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got you, baby. I promise it'll be a lot easier to have help than it be by yourself. My biggest concern with Lacey is that she doesn't seem like she's ready to take responsibility for herself on any level. And if that doesn't change, then she's likely not going to make much progress to effectively turn her life around. All right, Lacey. All right. I got some stuff for you. Let me go over it so we will have a good idea what's going on. I have no doubt that Lacey wants to change her life and lose the weight. But my concern is whether or not she's going to put in the work she needs to make that happen. Because it's not going to be easy for her. She's going to have to be committed. But so mm -hmm. far, she hasn't told me anything to really convince me she is. And this is the list of food to avoid. So read that very carefully. But the important thing in here that I put a bookmark for you there is your exercise, OK? Oh, wow. Ultimately, if Lacey wants to do this, she's going to have to make a lot of changes, including moving down here. Because with the state of her health, she can't handle the strain of all the travel. So this isn't going to be easy for her on a lot of levels. But all we can do is give her the tools to start the process at this point. Whether or not she uses them and makes the choices she needs is up to her. All right, we think you can do all those things? Yes. And give you two months and see how's your weight doing. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you're able to lose 50 pounds, then we'll talk about how you need to come down to Houston, okay? Okay. Right. So I think it's really nice motivation. You have just two months for losing this weight. If you haven't kept with this for two months, then sorry, you can't move in Houston because because you're so lazy and weakness person. As for me, it's really nice motivation to lose weight. Guys, and what about you? Do you like when you have some motivation or you can cope without motivation? I am a person who all time needs some motivation in my life. For example, if I want to change my work, I need to have motivation or something to go. Or for example, if I want to go to the gym, I also want to have motivation. So I mean that every time motivation <laughs> is still living in my head. And what about you? All right. So if you need anything, then give me a call. Okay. Otherwise, we'll see how we're doing in a couple of months. It's okay? nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you both. Have a safe trip back. Thank you. All right. I'll see you all later. See you later. Okay. Bye now. Bye. I'm optimistic about moving down here. You're yeah. optimistic, okay. With all the humidity and everything. Well, and the big bugs. Oh my God. Oh, big bugs. And the big bugs. My big bugs. <laughs> I think that went well. That appointment was extremely eye opening for me. Mm -hmm. Eye opening. And now I realize how bad of a fool I am because of all that food I was eating. It's going to be very hard. It's going to be a struggle, but I'm ready. Each day is a new step. Each day is a new day. So I feel confident and ready to do this. I have to change my life, no matter how hard it will be, because I want a life with Ricky, and I want to do so much. And I'm tired of waiting for it. I'm ready for change. I'm ready to do this. Why? Hi. Hi. 
So I like her mood, you know, guys. Now she is so motivated, yeah. But we will watch what happen after two months uh, if she doesn't wait. But you know, I see that this program is more than one hours, yes. Yeah? And maybe she really loses weight, yeah. And we will watch what happen with her. But now she has wow mood i mean that she's so motivated so she has a lot of desires yeah she said that now she's eye opening hmm. okay okay we will watch how was your all this seriously it was great was it fantastic Second month again. The work is so, started. Are you ready for your adventure on the park? Well, we're gonna walk at least about halfway. Do you want me to kick you now, or? Oh come on, you can. I'm make... gonna, I'm gonna kick you. It, you be it's so gonna be fun for me. He's like, ooh, girl, I'm getting some physical at me, huh? We've been back up in Washington from our doctor now appointment for about a month. I'm still eating some carbs, but it's very exciting because I'm engaged to Ricky. Ricky just asked me to marry him and I said yes. It happened really fast, I was excited. <laughs> me and Ricky had been talking about getting married and Ricky surprised me with a ring. <gasps> and wow. I said yes. She proposed. He proposed to her. Wow, wow, wow! So I think that is, you know, guys. I all time say and I continue to say that relationship is so hardly work. Yeah, and now she had to hardly work. I mean, the first of all, it's her relationship, and the second one is uh, losing weight. Of course, losing weight now on the first step in your life, in her life, because without it, yeah, she will, she will like a nail, a snail. Yeah, she, she can do anything and it's so scary and to your boyfriend too yes and i surprised him with a ring back <laughs> oh. all my friends like ricky and even my parents like him so that was a bingo for me i wanted her ring to be personal but i sneakily asked her like questions about her ring you know what things she wanted you know without her knowingly know i was doing so i was kind of being like covert Surprise. And I was so stupid, but I was like, are you flashy or are you personal? And of course she wanted personal, so boom, I went and got it and paid for it. She didn't, you know, she was thinking, what are you buying? I'm like, never mind. And then until we got to the <laughs> mall, and I was like, hey, uh -huh. I got one knee. Everybody's still looking around, all, you know, everybody's all, you know. And I asked her, would you marry me? She's like, yes. I'm very proud of you, baby. You're Thank doing you, a good job. Baby, will you please go sit down so you're not interfering in my kitchen? Just okay. don't cut your finger off. Oh, come on. I've been cooking for years. Every day I'm reading Dr. Nell's book, mm -hmm. trying to do what the diet says. Hey, babe. I got these flour tortillas, and they're low. They're they're uh, trans fat, zero trans fat, and zero calorie. Well, how much carbs is in one tortilla? Thirty-three. Oh, that's a lot, honey. Is that a lot? Oh, yeah. I, thought, I thought that was low. You can you can eat that though. She just wanted you just want a plate of plate of the vegetables and the meat part. Here you go. And then you can just put with your salad. Okay, I'm doing the salad right now. Okay. What's more satisfying about the diet is that it is healthier. I'm going slowly cutting out certain... So size portion is also very necessary to have a diet. I mean that now I think that she eat more than she needs. But of course portion control it's, it's, it's so necessary and your body on first step. Uh, I think that she can lose weight under one conditional if she follows all rules of doctor and doesn't ever eat at night or uh, have some meals. I mean, some uh, how how its name on English? 
uh, some 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 lunch okay some carbs each day break i feel Sorry, like i can break, eat more vegetables breaks. with it like lettuce with lots of tomatoes but it's still a process this is a whole lifestyle it's not just temporary because after the surgery it's a whole new life oh well, dinner is good thank you you're welcome babe yeah and ricky's so helping me keep my spirits up i'm very happy and i know that there's an increase with our love for each other too but the only thing that's bothering me is sharon she's clearly against me and ricky being together so babe let's talk about my sister i know we i know she has issues the queen mm -hmm. of drama you know what i'm saying yeah. she's my sister i love her but i'm at your side 100 percent and i know you're doing your exercises, you're losing weight. So I'm pretty sure you're doing what the doctor says. I want this to be a easy transition. Yeah. Gotta set up the TV to do the workout. Here, give me that. Whether or not Sharon supports us, yep, we ready. love each other and want to spend our lives together. Curry. On. No and Ricky's been helping me do my exercises. And I'm thankful because I don't think I'd be able to do much on my own without his help. And yeah, because Ricky's so your support. So it makes me feel very loved and cared for when he supports me like this. So it's been a big change for both of us in our relationship. But we're doing it because we both know how important it is for me. It's just hard. But I'm gonna stick to it, no matter how hard it is. I gotta take a break. Take a break. Good job, babe. Four months. Mm-hmm. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, good. Well, let's see, I was worried that she's been on for three months since you were supposed to follow up with us. Yeah, I haven't heard from you, so I can see what's going on. Um, well, definitely I'm do taking way much better uh, care of my health than I was before. So how are you doing with your eating habits? Do you think you lost any weight? Yes, I'm sure I have. Okay, so why haven't you contacted us if you're doing so well? Well, there's been a lot of changes. A lot of great stuff's been happening. I got engaged. And me and Ricky have been working on moving down to Houston. Well, congratulations on your engagement. It sounds like a lot is going on in your life. Yes. But if you're not making your health the priority, nothing else is going to matter for you, okay? Yes. Then why are taking you so long to get back with us? Um, well, I, I have to, I do have some issues to deal with, and I mm -hmm. had to, like, prepare mentally and physically to, like, move before I moved down there. Well, let's see, if you haven't lost any weight, then there's no point to move to Houston, because I'm not moving ahead with you, so we have to check your way to see that before you move here. You understand that? I understand completely. You should have easily lost over 100 pounds. But I'm not sure about that from how you look right now. But check your weight and we go okay. from there, okay? Sounds great. All right. And if you need anything at the meantime, give me a call. Okay, I will. Thank you so much. All right, you take care. Take care. Thank you. All right, bye now. Bye. I'm a little disappointed because Dr. Now didn't react like I thought to how we're ready and committed to move. Me and Ricky have put in a lot of work to make that happen. And I think it shows the level of commitment I have since I'm ready. Of course, no one says that it will be easy. Uh -uh. It's really a hard and, uh, and so, so, so hard and so, so difficult way to be better. Yeah, to be better in your life, to be better version of yourself. It's not like, whew, 
yeah it's so rough way yeah and if she want if she want to have better life she can handle with it it's like um addiction you know this is addiction from food it's like really um some some strange feelings that lives inside her for full her life and for one click like huh and i am the thinnest woman in the world uh -uh, it doesn't work like this but she's trying and i think that uh, maybe later but she will uh present us the best result i believe in her you to just leave everything behind here to start again there and i think dr now will understand once i'm there and sees how far i've come the plan is to move next week keep working just as hard get weight loss surgery and start a new life with ricky everything's ready it's mm -hmm. everything i've ever dreamed of what does and she I can't wait for it so i'm not Is it on diet? Something strange. It not seems like healthy food. Oh, five months, okay. The apartment emailed me back. Hey. Approved! Approved! No, 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 I don't, we don't know yet. Me and Ricky have been busy getting everything set for a move to Houston. And we were also planning a small wedding, but we decided I need to be focused on doing the program right now. So we've got everything lined up and we plan on moving to Houston next week. It says we've received the following payment, but all of them say that. So that should make Dr. Now happy when I tell him because I'm 100% committed to this new life and doing whatever it takes to make it happen. We better go and walk before I can take a break. Mm -hmm. At the hospital the other day, I just went in there to get weighed. I weighed uh, 577. I lost 16 pounds, and he wanted me to lose 50. So I have a lot of progress to make. I've had a bumpy ride trying to lose weight, but me and Ricky want to move to Houston. And I don't need to wait any longer. How dirty are in their house. <laughs> Let's go. I think I can be very successful. I'm not eating as much pizza as I did. I have been exercising and I have been walking. Big old arm. Thank you. Ricky has been I haven't ate pizza as much as I did. <laughs> Do you eat pizza really? No, ah, it's not a diet, lady. Come on, come on, come on. It's not about diet. It's not about healthy food. It's not about new step in your, into your own life. It's like, oh, it is my old habits. I can't say that to them. No, sorry, I want you. <laughs> I didn't want you. <laughs> Going with me so we can get exercise in. I circled the complex twice and not just once. So making little baby progress. Oh my gosh, I'm so sick to my stomach. Sit down, baby. I'm gonna sit down in the shade. Sure, sure. It's been very stressful this past month. A lot of stress trying to find somewhere to live in Houston. And I'm really gonna miss Ricky's family. They accepted me so fast. And his mother is very kind to me. Um, my relationship with Sharon's gotten better. Things have been very good and it feels like she's accepted me a little bit better than before and i really enjoy spending time with her okay come on babe team lacy team right. lacy so here soon me and ricky will be married and living in houston and i'll hopefully be getting weight loss surgery too i'm ready to leave the old behind and start with the new okay i'll get the door babe so I have so many things to look forward to right now. I just have to keep working hard. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh. See, we made it. Thanks, baby. Mm, baby.
So eating is really much easier than just moving, of course, and um, to have obesity, it's uh, not about joke, yeah, it's really largest problem in her life, because uh, without her progress, she didn't will have a normal life, and this is a big problem. How much time I said about it? <laughs> One more box, well, we can put that box right there, outside, right there. Me and Ricky are packing everything up to move to Houston. He got his stuff loaded in the trailer, and now we're loading all my stuff up with the help of some of my friends from my church. A lot of them, like Renee and Gloria, have been there for me, even when it got to where I couldn't go to church. But it's a radical decision. Hopefully having all this help will get us on the road soon. All right, come the hard part. Let's get this going. I'm not trying to have this do with us all day. I'll move everybody. I'm hoping we can finish getting everything out of here and get on the road soon because I don't want to be traveling too late. What else needs to go out? Um, this couch. Let me get off. Let me get off she the couch. I know. We don't have time for hugs. Oh, we do. We all we do. What I don't take, the church is going to donate. So all I have to do is get my final stuff loaded and then I'll officially be moved out. Lacey! Yeah. She needs to get up and help. I've been helping. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah, I helped pack all night. A, I... It was just more of a question. It came out kind of wrong. I'm a mean crap when I'm high. <sighs> OK. Here, baby, everybody. Thank you. Take this. Oh, teamwork, teamwork, baby, teamwork. Yep. Uh, I'm to take care of each other, bro. For real. Be good, girl. Yeah, you be safe. Yep. Hostas. Bye. Bye. Oh, no. Leave me, please. Oh, the baby's strong. I thought it'd be sad to see this place emptied out. It's been my home for years. I'm actually excited to see it like this because it means I'm leaving a life behind that I don't want anymore so I can start the one that I do want. Tapped it out. Oh, 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 oh! Broke it in, yeah. We broke it in. Look at this, the area of the bed. Yeah, it's like imprinted. So it's all exciting. And as hard as it is, I'm happy to have the chance to do this and to be doing it with Ricky. Love you. Love you. He's been my rock through this, and I know I wouldn't even have this chance without his support and love. So I'm very thankful for all the people I have in my life who are here for me right now, supporting me and helping me do this. It all means the world to me because it's giving me a second chance at life. Whoa. It's actually going to be hard for me to say bye to Ricky's family. Aside from Sharon, I feel connected to all of them, even though I only recently met them. But when Ricky and me got engaged, I feel like they embraced me as family. And so I feel like they've already become my family. So I'm sad to say goodbye to them. And they know me and Ricky are doing this for a better life. Come on, baby. So I know I have their support to do this 100%. And I'm thankful for that. Hi, Mama. Hi, honey. Hello. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. Yeah. Oh, don't cry. You're gonna make me ball like a big baby. Come here, my girl. Oh, it'll be fine. You're gonna do just fine. I trust you, Lacey. You hear me? You, my baby. Yeah, it's also so hard to move to another country because all her life, maybe not all, but half of life, she lives here, and of course, it's, it's as I said before, it's radical uh, decision. Yeah, but but she can handle with it, and uh, if she have um, this uh, surgery, then uh, she would come back. She will return and and have the happiest life. With you, and this is gonna be it. This Ooh, is baby. a new Ooh, adventure for you guys. Look at that way. Oh, I know you are, my love. I know you are. 
You're part of the family. Yeah. That's, that's never going to change. I don't care how much you weigh or where you move to. You're always part of the family. Always. You understand? I'm going to sit go. down. Go ahead. Just move, girls. Move so Lacey can sit down. You'll be just fine, my girl. I know you will. Come here. You take care of Mama. Oh, you know I will. You take care of yourself. Now it's gonna be nice. All right, you guys, let's go. Okay. Yeah. I Thank know. You, Thank you. Take your time. What is it? I come Love on. you more, baby. All right, bye, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for the adventure, and I know Ricky is too. And I'm gonna be so glad when we do, because when we make it to Houston, it'll mean me and Ricky can start our new lives on our own so we can get away from Sharon and toxic people like her, because I don't need anyone messing up my chances to turn my life around to get healthy, no matter who they are. Bye, you... Damn old house. I'll be back, house. Don't worry, I'll be back. Don't worry, neighbors, I'll be back. Anything that threatens to get in my way has to go because I'm committed to doing whatever it takes to have a better life. Nothing is more important to me than that. Mom! Yeah, it's your life and you need to have only best life ever. You have just only one life and if you didn't decide to do anything, yeah, then you can just just die of your obesity, yeah, and it's... Uh, it's it's the worst scenario in her life but she decided to change her life and i'm proud of her so that i can say that she has also her own character but her character is so deeply inside her yeah because she have i'm sure that she has a lot of complex in her life mm, due to the weight bye, bye mama i love you you better be good i swear god you better be good so I can't wait to start that life. So I'll do what I have to do to do that. Yeah, baby, just do it. I didn't really didn't think Idaho was this big. Like to get across the like this, I didn't think it was supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, but normally the whole process <laughs> the, 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 the really small part of it. We never really go through the big part. So are we closer to Colorado? We're actually closer to Wyoming than we are Utah. Okay. Who's calling, babe? I'm not calling nobody, it's you. Hello? Thank you. Oh, sweet. <laughs> we got proof of the apartment. Yeah! All right. When, when are we going to be in Houston? The 12th. The 12th. We can, I mean, the 13th. I mean, if you have to stay the night in a hotel, I mean, that's, we'll get on it. Okay, bye. Congratulations. We've got a place to go we to. We did it. We did it. I have a, I have a meeting with Dr. Now on the 13th. 13th, 13th? After I signed the lease. And today's the 9th, right? Today's the 9th. Okay, so we should, we'll have no problem. 13th is, that's in four days. And you know, I'll even be generous. So it'll take three days to get to Texas. And then I'm dropping that trailer and... Dipping. Dipping the <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> they only gave me one cracker. They didn't have any chili they with a on a And they only gave her one cracker to go in a chili. Okay. I'm really, really missing chili with a lot of onions. I've loved chili since I was little. Yeah, where are you gonna tell this doctor, man? What if this doctor says, you know what, I'm not- His sunglasses, it's something, <laughs> something interesting. I mean, that he's, uh, <laughs> he's so funny. Around, you're not taking it serious. What happens after that? Have you ever thought about that? We talked about it. Talked about what? I already talked about it. Oh my God, what is wrong with you? Sometimes you're just so ugly. Not personally, just not looks wise, but just your personality. It's just ugly sometimes. I don't get don't you. Comment. Good, don't don't comment, I don't even care. I need a little minute to myself. Man, you're 36 years old and you disgracing. Sharon, can you grow up and stop I picking up 
Very Stop grown. picking on me all the time. I ain't picking on you. You're, You're not, not perfect me. either. I ain't perfect. I never said I was perfect. Not one time. I didn't say I was perfect. You call me fat. You are. So you are I'm too. Right. I never said I wasn't. Oh, okay. I'm asking you real questions. My brother is going to be down there with you. I am so tired, Sharon. You're tired. All you do is sit there. I've been doing all the work. You ain't done. Besides, okay. eat and cry. Eat and cry. Eat and cry. Let's get on the road. Uh, I'm warning you. I didn't I'm not going to deal with you. Some small um, arguments, yeah, between the girls. So, but his sister says true for her, yeah. She is eating, not has the food. I mean, so she, she isn't maybe seriously for this diet, yeah, and the sister understands all, and uh, uh, I think that uh, someone thinks, oh, maybe she is toxic, yeah, a little bit, but she is truly, she is truly said all right thing to her. Of course she is nervous, of course she is angry, because no one wants to hear like this one. Much longer. Okay. Success. My allergies do not like New Mexico. So we almost made it to Texas, but we're still a good ways from Houston. Like about 11 hours. So we're definitely not making it to the doctor now on time. We're not gonna make it. My appointment with doctor now is scheduled for this evening. Well then don't you think you should get on the phone and tell them that you ain't making it tonight? The first time I missed an appointment, I, I called him right away and told him th what happened. He understood. This is your second time missing an appointment? What was the first time? The first time was... Uh, June? Oh, well, why did you miss this first appointment in June? Missed the first appointment in June because we because I love to eat and maybe I didn't uh, gain my lose weight yeah and and I stayed in California and um, it was um, it was a reason why I can't come to doctor now. Um, couldn't get couldn't get a. Uh... You know, like, I couldn't get there on, I think it was because you couldn't get there on a get financial afford plane tickets or something. I don't remember. Plane tickets are hella cheap right now. You mean to tell me you were supposed to go see the doctor then? You were just around. You know what? This is this, every, all the information I get and everything that I hear just off, Lacey, because you are such This is the second appointment she missed. I just found this out. I've been helping her out. Helping her sell out things, helping her get money. If she lies one more time, I swear to God, I'm a karate chopper. I don't even want to drive y'all down there no more. Y'all could have been down there a long time ago. Oh, we can't do it because of this. We can No, you know what? You could have did it. You could have gone off your big and you could have did it. If you're lying to me, all you he, told me was Ricky, you didn't have the money and you kept telling you you had the money. She's lying. She's lying. She had the money. Do you know how much an air ticket would cost? You know how much a train ticket would cost? Babe, I, I know it's, I know it's the, so it's things sound like. Why are you telling me? But I did not have the money for a $1,600 air flights for us round trip. All that money you were spending on shopping, you could have been down in Houston. You are not ready to lose weight. You have stopped my life, and I have way more important things to worry about, and I'm taking my stupid, pathetic brother who loves your ass for whatever reason, because all you do is use him. No, I don't. Please I... tell me, what do you do for my brother? 
not only so she's so angry to her brother okay and i also understand her because she sees that uh, this uh, the, our main hero lacy she didn't want to lose weight yeah and now maybe she also doesn't want to lose weight yeah and uh, it is normal question what do you do to, uh, what do you want from my bar from sorry guys sorry i have a lot of emotion what do you want to do with my brother and if i have a brother if i had a brother i ask it the same because for me it's also a big shoes so they haven't got any uh, children they haven't got sex they haven't got uh, some so they were in a relationship for about one month yeah maybe now it's two or three months yeah but it doesn't matter matter uh it's normal question yeah and now our main hero she search a lot of excuses yeah now it's financial yeah because the trust is that is she's so weakness and for her it is easier to see to search some some obstacle on her way but not say true bah. i have loved your brother more how do you let my brother in april woman. you've only been with them since april okay what do i need to do now sharon to approve get your approval i don't know you don't stab my heart out you don't guarantee you i'll stand up and be like no ricky don't do it guarantee because i'll be if my brother moves down to taxes with a that can't do for herself Dude, I need to pull. I need to. We, we pull over. Ricky is my responsibility, and he's an emotional epileptic. So that means he has seizures, and the severity of his seizures depending on how emotionally charged he is. So I gotta protect him, you know. But she's just taking advantage. She don't about my brother, which I always kind of knew. It was just if I try to say something and try to tell people something, they're not trying to hear it. So I had to kind of let it unravel before I can be like, well, see, I told you. She just, in reality, she just needs someone to take care of her because she can't take care of herself. Have you ever really been in love? Yes, I have. How do you know you love him? What is your definition of love? Because if anything happened to him, I would be there for him. Really? I'm sorry. I, I highly know that. Very good. I know you love me, and I love you, but you guys still gotta tell the truth. If you lie a little bit, make it sure if you lie, it ain't gonna hurt nobody. That's what I do. When I lie to you, it's more just to basically start a conversation. I love you. You know what I do, baby. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Hey, I really have to go to the bathroom. Let's go. Do we stand at the door so you can go? No, I'm gonna go talk to Sharon. RJ, you need to make a decision. I wanna give it a try. Why, what do you wanna give it a try about? She has not lost weight. She has not tried to lose weight. I've kept my mouth shut for the longest. I ain't doing it no more. She uses you, and she's a disgusting person for doing it. You are not staying in Texas, okay? Good talk. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I understand. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm busting, my and I'm trying to put a blind eye through a lot. Of Look, if this is you lying to me, I have no problem taking this ring back and giving it back. And I ain't gonna stay in Texas away from my family. She ain't gonna do the what this program's meant for. I did not give up on you. You Ricky. have not brought I him have up not. good positive way. Not I one time. love you, Ricky. You know, I, I have told Ricky, you. And told you. And told you. No, I would no, do anything no, for you, Ricky, and no, I told Ricky. you I'd screw her up. I don't know anymore. 
I mean, I don't know what's true and what's not, what's not true. Deep down inside, Rick, you know I only make sure you're okay. And this can't even make real tears. She's trying to fake cry right now next to you. I'm not trying to You're trying cry. to fake cry right now next I'm to you. overcome with emotion. I don't want to lose Ricky, okay? Yeah, why are you lying? Because she lost me to And I don't, I'm done. Done. Is there a, if there's a gas station, bro, you're getting left at Temple, Texas. Turn left on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. Drop off right here. Stupid. I'm gonna kill you. And you sleep every which way around? I'm just shocked. I don't even feel safe being around Sharon any longer. And I have to do something. Hi, um, my name's Lacey Buckingham. Um, I'm at this gas station and I'm from Washington State. And um, the driver, Sharon Gilmore, and my ex fiance Ricky are driving me to Pasadena, Texas. I'm scared because I'm going to be dropped off in this parking lot. I am disabled. I have, you know, a 6x12 trailer, and I'm just not sure, I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. So I can get everything straight? Yes. We'll go back over things. So he was your boyfriend. Yes. Did he so guys, you know, I understand why his sister is so angry because she's a really liar. So she had an, he, she had her appointment in June, yeah, but she missed him. And as I said before, that uh, our eating is the best part in her life, and it wasn't a joke to her. I think that she's. Uh, has some sense of humor and she said oh yeah life, life without food is uh, a fool but now i realize that for for her yeah she so it's really trash by, for for me and uh, i have a lot of commentary but you know i just think that uh, if i had a brother i made the same decision so it's it's not okay i mean that uh, he is not stability in his emotional phone yeah and she maybe really uses him and and the sister feel it, yeah, feels it, and she said, please stop, she's a liar. <sighs> Some difficult situation, so complicated situation. He just broke up with you just a few minutes well, ago? Well, yeah, basically, the, the Sharon, Sharon, her, his sister, you know. Is that Sharon that's yeah, in the car? She's the, so it's his sister? Yeah, okay. she says she's power of attorney. Okay, okay. I'm in trouble, sir. Why? I'm a big homeless in Pasadena with nothing. Why don't you sit down and relax, okay? okay. Calm down. And let me go over there and talk to them so we can figure out what's going okay. on, okay? Mm -hmm. I thought the cops on my for I didn't fault? Call the cops on my yeah, I did. Don't, don't, get, just go back over there. Okay, it was there. So. Ricky, get your clothes. Lacey, don't you ever in your right mind speak to me again. Don't say nothing to me. You lucky the police are here. You just praise God that right now I can control my composure. I made a promise to God to take care of you. I never broke it. Why would it hurt you? Now, you and her hurt me, Sharon. You said them at me. No, I did not. I said well, Sharon. Whatever you want to put it. You know, okay, well, I, I don't care know of you. I didn't want your own. How was that for a dad? I just. It's got a lock on it, and I don't know how to do that. I just want my oxygen, my sleep machine. Thank you. Thank you for the wiping my butt. My, it's, it's, it's not even my Thank you for wiping my butt. Okay, Lacey lost her mind. It's the best way to explain it. And she decided to call the police department and say we were all trying to hurt her. Or in my case, she's trying to blame me for abusing her. Get whatever she needs off my U-Haul and her is gone. You want it will be a U-Haul place. But his sister is like, Rrr! she's she's so her character is wow. It's uh, you know, guys. I <laughs> if I said about me, I I'm scared about people like she. So when I uh, see on the street the people like she, I'm so I say, oh, whoa, 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 please, 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 I do nothing. Don't scream on me, please. <laughs> Woman, you don't even know what you just did. Abuse a person. I am the realest, nicest, 
greatest person alive. I would go above and beyond for my for my woman. I said, oh, well, are we, are we still together, she asked me. I'm like, look, God, I'm like, well, no, we're done. Uh, officer, can I please talk to you? Can I please be blessed so help me carry this? Yeah, wait, please just where are you gonna go? Just to the corner so I can get some water to call a taxi. Please. I feel like I'm hyperventilating and the heat is getting to me and then I'm gonna have a heart attack. I can feel I'm gonna have a heart attack if I stay here. With the heat and the stress, I can feel it. So I have to get somewhere safe now. Before I pass out, something bad happens. Thank you, sir. No problem. So, what's going on? Um, well, what's your I'm name? Lacey Buckingham. Oh. My name's Doug. Doug. Um, mentally, I'm very exhausted and okay. I need to be checked out. I have cellulitis in my left leg, I have lymphedema, okay. yep. and my oxygen is messed up. Okay. That's my oxygen. Uh, can we take you to St. Joe's and Bryant? Yes, please. Just to close the top. Yes, please. Is that okay? Can I please bring just this? Uh, yeah, we can make that happen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Can you hold this, please? Yes, ma'am. I got this. Yes. Can you grab my hand if you need it? There you go. Get you a little bit more set. Thank you. There you go. Okay. You want to sit up a little bit more? I'm exhausted. Having mental. Now I'm having mental problems. One, two, three. So she can't ignore reality, but she can't ignore the consequences of her reality. Some scary station. She's in the house. hoping they'd let me stay the night at the hospital. But they said I couldn't stay because nothing was wrong with me. But that's not accurate, but whatever. I don't know where Ricky and Sharon are and where all my stuff is. But I haven't texted them because I don't want to talk to either of them. And I'm not sure what's gonna happen between me and Ricky because I feel like he really let me down when I needed him the most. Sharon went verbally psycho on me and he didn't stop her. Thank you. So it feels like everything in my life is falling apart. Thank you so much. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. And now it's her reality. Without uh, her Ricky, she can't do anything. And this is her real reality, yeah? With this weight, in this in this body, yeah? You're so helpless, yeah? And this is a qu question by me. Why is she still eating? And one more time, I understand that she, that she didn't want to lose weight. Mm-mm. They want to meet once more, okay? Look, we felt bad for you, just abandoning you. So we uh, got your stuff on in, the, in the back of the truck. We can take your doctor now, drop you off where, uh, where you want, and then I'm heading back, I'm done, we're done. There's no way I'm getting back in that Tahoe, sorry. For not only a man that won't stand up for me ever, but a sister that, your sister that wants to kill me. So no, there's no way I'm going back in that Tahoe. I just want you to know I did love you and I never meant harm. Last night I did not sleep. I feel cold. 
You were a very good man to me. And I tried to be a very, very good woman for you. Sorry I ended like this. Well, that's how we want to leave it. We can, uh, we'll leave it there. Okay. Um, Have a nice life. So he proposed to her and now have a nice life without me. The love is ended. It is doesn't about happy end, unfortunately. But uh, his sister understands that uh, she doesn't uh, do anything for their relationship and she just lying him. And this is the worst in relationship without trust. It's, it's impossible to have a normal relationship. I wish you a nice life too. Okay. I'm heading out. I worked so hard on that relationship and crazy. Man. That's all. Okay. All right, let's go. It's okay. It's okay. Look. RJ, don't cry. That she's she nasty. She looked nasty. She didn't take care of herself. How could you even want to be seen in public with somebody like that? My option I have is from a person I found online from my hometown to help me since I'm stranded. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. God bless you no for coming short notice. Yeah, yeah. It'll be okay. You're You've okay. known me a long time. Yeah, you'll be fine. Her name's Michelle. And she said her and her family are planning to move to Houston from Washington. Mm -hmm. And so that was perfect for my situation. Okay. And after I told her what happened to me, she said I might be able to live with her and her family. So that was something like a miracle for me. Oh, finally, she moved to, she moved to Houston. This has been one of the worst and most miserable experience in my life. And I'm scared now. It's all going to be for nothing if I don't get Dr. Nell's help. Because I know if I don't get some kind of big help like that soon, then I'm probably not going to be around much longer. Lacey? The most interesting. Um, my last what about your age? I was 593. Wait. And the goal Dr. Now gave me was to lose 50 pounds. Thank you. So that means I should have gone down to 543. So that's what I'm really hoping it is. It's nothing. It's not good enough. That's really and one more time I realized that his sister was really right so she is so lazy and she is so weakness and for her it's really the better way just cry and all so nothing else any works any um, eating habits yeah any po control portion just cry <gasps> and say I'm so poor please help me eat and cry eat and cry and all so miserable situation a big shock to me because I really thought uh -huh. I'd lost more how how you can so lose? I'm confused and upset because I've worked so hard. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a food addict, 
and I've been giving up the food I want for a while, so I feel like I should have a lot more of a result. And so to have such little progress is like a punch to my face. That's how much of a shock it is to me. I'm very worried because it's I know that weight isn't going to be enough for Dr. Now to approve me. Yeah, it's not what I expected. And that's what I've been working so hard for. So I'm disappointed and scared right now because I don't know what's going to happen. And I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm not getting weight loss surgery. And you don't approve the surgery. It is not enough about weight. Hello. Hello. How y'all doing? Good. It looked like you got a new friend now. Yeah, this is my friend, Michelle. She's from Tri-Cities, where I was born and raised. Where is Tri-City? Tri-Cities, Washington. Oh, OK. So you came all the way down to Houston? Well, my family and I were coming down to Texas anyway. And so um, she called me and said that she needed some help. So I drove down from Kilgore. So you're the helper. Mm -hmm. So what happened to your boyfriend? A series of misfortunate events. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks. So you said you were moving down here a couple of weeks ago on a video call. So did you do that? No. Uh, so you're still living in Washington? No, I'm not living there. So where do you live now? I don't live anywhere now. I was moving to Houston, and the apartment that I was going to live in fell through so that there's no apartment here, and I have no things, no furniture for the apartment, just my pills and my body and some clothes. So look like you got too many issues to tackle in your life right now. Yeah, lots of. So what seems to be your idea about where you're going to be staying and where you're going to go? Well, I want to try to live, keep living in Texas. So Michelle said maybe I could just live with her family. So that would solve my problem. Where does Michelle live? Where do you live? We're in between right now, but we do have some finances to try to work out getting a place here in Houston. Um, my husband and my other children are still up in Kilgore, so I'll go get them and bring them and get moved into a place um, together with Lacey. I think we can afford a home here somewhere. It's just a matter of finding something. So hopefully I can do that because I'm trying to figure it out so I can get back on track on what I'm supposed to do. So okay. I really, 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 I don't know if I deserve a second chance, but I want I want a second chance. Lacey, you're going to have to decide what you're going to do now because it seems like you got so many domestic problems to tackle before you even uh, start worrying about what you're going to do, where you're going to be. So you need to work on bringing some stability to your life and figuring some things out long term. So you have to make some serious decisions about what you're going to do and how you're going to stick with your healthy eating habit. Mm -hmm. That's not going to come uh, natural when you have no idea where you're going or where you're coming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, at this point right now, I'm homeless, so... Well, you still have a, a home in uh, back in Washington, yeah, right? Yeah, it's just an empty apartment right now. So you're going to see which way the wind is blowing, you got yeah. it that way. Yeah. Well... You have a lot of your life to figure out right now. So I'm going to let you figure that out, okay. where you're going to live, where you're going to be. But if you want to continue with the program, then you have to lose at least 50 pounds to show me you're committed to take responsibility for your life. And you're putting in the effort to change. If not... So now I don't believe in Lacey. So she's, um, she's so lazy, she's... Um... She has whatever she wants. I mean, so for her, it's enough to have uh, to have this weight, to have this health. Yeah, she said that he she has a lot of pain and another another thing. Yeah, but it is convenient place to her. So she feels her nice, exactly nice, and um, she said, "Yeah, yeah, I will lose weight." But on but on fact, she didn't. Then it won't matter if you're living down here. Because we're not moving ahead with you until you do that. So, you know, you have the guidance that we give you, and you have to use that. 
And if you don't follow that, there's nothing we can do to change that, okay? Yes. So stick with the healthy eating habit, read the stuff we gave you every night, and check out and see what you did wrong, and don't make the mistake tomorrow. Yes, okay? sir. You think you can do that? Yes, I've got to. It's not a game anymore. You know, it's not a game to just eat fast food and think you're going to lose weight. All right. So if you need anything, give me a call. Yes. And let me know how things are going, okay? Okay. I wish you good luck. Okay, thank you. And nice to meet you. You too. All right, we'll see you on later. Okay. Right now, things aren't looking good for Lacey. I'm not seeing anything to convince me if she means what she says or that she's going to take a level of responsibility for her life. So I am very concerned. In five months, she hardly lost any weight and she still has a list of excuses for why that is. So she's clearly not following the instructions for her diet and exercise. So she decided to move down here despite what I told her she needed to do. And then, on top of all that, she seems to make brash and impulsive life decisions to the point where her life seems constantly in flux and chaotic. And I think she orchestrates that to some degree. Because it is a constant excuse for her unhealthy choices. So right now, I'm not yeah. sure she's going to be willing to give up the way she's living. And very concerned because if she keeps going like this, then it won't take long for her to get to a breaking point. And once that happens, her situation is going to become far more dire. So I'm hoping she wakes up and takes the steps she needs to try and do this. But right now, it's not looking likely. I'm disappointed I didn't get approved, but I'm actually proud of myself for telling the truth. I did what was right. And that should count for something because I didn't make excuses. So I'm hopeful for the future, but I still have to figure out my living situation. And I know I just have to do better. And this time I'm not letting anyone or anything mess that up for me. I don't believe you're a lot of words, a lot of, a ton of words. Six months. My whole world is falling apart. Things didn't work out with Michelle and her family. They tried and they helped me, but they basically decided they aren't moving to Houston for a while. So I just asked if they could bring me back to Washington because I had nowhere else to go. And they did, but I don't have anything because Ricky and Sharon took all my stuff and dropped it all off somewhere. Like pictures and stuff. Friends have helped me get the material things I need, but it's the stuff I can't ever replace that hurts. This is all the stuff that I was able to get back from Texas. Mm -hmm. I managed to get my lease back on my place here, so I at least figured out an option to avoid being homeless. I need to find a way to be in Houston, a place to live. I just don't know how I'm going to do that. Part of me is scared that I'm going to lose my chance to change my life. Not only did I lose my valuable objects to me, I just, I do miss. So in general, lying is not the better way to have a good relationship. Yeah, one mistake, yeah, and Henrique said, sorry, sorry, baby, duh, but, I, but I'm done. And uh, his sister is so clever girl, she saw it on the first side, yeah, and she, of course, she wants a better life for her brother, and it is okay, because all of us, we want to, to have the better life, and of course, when we saw, or we, we can see the girl or the woman that we really didn't or doesn't or don't like, it's it's always an issue to speak, yeah, to discuss it with your nearly person, with your close person. It's Ricky, I miss him. Of course you miss him. I lost a good friend. No, please don't cry. And don't lie. So 
seven months. I let my church know I was back, and they were able to bring back some of my furniture. But now I have to figure out getting my life set back up here. I don't know what my future holds now. I'm still trying to do Dr. Now's program because I need weight loss surgery. I am watching what I eat. I don't eat fast food all the time. Um, salads are a big thing for me. And I only eat until like right here says, hello, you're, you're full. So I'm still trying to get healthy, but I've honestly given up hope on being able to do his program anytime soon because I just don't have anyone who can help me move to Houston. Ricky was a godsend who was helping me do that, and I can see how I took him for granted in some ways. That doesn't mean how he treated me was okay, and all I wanted was for him to stick up for me. Mm -hmm. And he didn't. But my biggest regret is letting Sharon take us to Houston. I think if it wasn't for her, me and Ricky would still be together, and I'd be in Houston doing the program and getting my life back. Sharon's the one that took that from me, and I never want to see her again because of that. Hello, come in. Hello. Hey, Renee. Hello. Oh, it's You're just right friends. Dinner's a brewing. Renee, my best friend. So mostly what I love in America is that uh, oh, you live in like a private house, yeah, and so you have a lot of neighbors, yeah, and they can come to you oh, for bar barbecue or to having fun or to watch the cinema, yeah, oh, it is my dream. So for me it's well. I'm from church. She's been a big support and we're planning on getting a new place together. How are you doing? Well, I was very sad. But I've been praying a lot, you know, and going to church and talking to the bishop. And yeah, thank you so much for coming over. Anything I can help you with? Yeah, so glad you live so close. I don't know what my future looks like. I just know I'm going to keep fighting for it. Maybe me and Ricky will get back together again and we'll end up moving to Houston together like we planned. I'm working on getting a bed. Oh, good. So if we. Even if I get a one, like a one bedroom, you could, I know it's stupid, but. No, 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 we're gonna have to get a two bedroom, minimum. If I have to get a storage shed for all my stuff, then I will. I'm not getting rid of my movies. No, not <laughs> your movies. Sorry. Which pile? I know. <laughs> I just know I'm not giving up on my dreams. Somehow, some way, I'm gonna live the life I want. Absolutely. I love you. I still can't wait for that. This is the end of our story, and unfortunately, or for luck, it is a story without happy end. But it is, um, it is life. Sometimes it can happen. And in her case, uh, she mustn't uh, uh, lie uh, her man, because in that case, he was like, "Oh my God, that's what happened. Why you didn't say me about this situation?" Yeah, and I felt him, so I understood all his emotional. Yeah, and maybe or not, but he decided to make this decision. But, but this is just only his decision. And Lucy, Lucy is um, so weakness person. Yeah, maybe she wants to do something, but, but, but no. For her, it's convenient to have a life like now. Yeah, and uh, she is trying to do something, but not seriously. And this is not mood for for lose weight to stay better version of you. Yeah, it's not about Lucy. Mm, she is uh, a little bit weakness, and this is all and she stay to be helpless sorry but i am for trust guys thank you for your attention thank you for your time uh, so i um, <laughs> i uh, want to be uh, very useful for you yeah and i want that you also have a good mood with me so i think that you uh, watch this video with a good feeling with good emotional yeah and uh, if you want to say me something uh, you can all time write me a commentary i all read Thank you for your attention, thank you for your time, and see you guys! Bye-bye!